back in the 20s, our copyright system worked the way it was supposed to. An artist who created a new work could claim the exclusive right to it for 56 years. Long enough to make a healthy profit for pretty much their entire lifetime. After that, the work entered the public domain, giving everyone the right to copy, share, and use it to create works of their own. Now, who this I can get into. Remixing the works of the past is an essential part of how we create new culture. And this same process brought us so many of your favorite characters, like Frankenstein, Dracula, Sherlock Holmes, Sleeping Beauty, Alice in Wonderland, The Wizard of Oz, Hercules, Pinocchio, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, Captain Nemo, Paul Bunyan, Tarzan, King Arthur, Robin Hood, Moby Dick, and many, many more. All of them were created by artists long ago and are now in the public domain, free for us to use to tell our own stories. You can make them play soccer or fight a space battle. I want them to make out. Oh yeah, let's see that. Whatever you want, because these characters now belong to all of us. It's a little something I like to call the circle of rights. So you're saying that everything the light touches will one day be mine? Nope, not anymore. In 1998, Mickey Mouse was about to enter the public domain. To stop that from happening, Disney and other companies lobbied Congress to extend the term of copyright by decades, just so they could retain ownership of him and other characters. Now, all those characters that would belong to us, belong to them. Oh no, I'm s s scared. You should be, because this problem is far more serious than just cartoons. Meet James Boyle, co-founder of the Center for Public Domain at Duke University. Hi, Adam. Hi, Jake. Because of these laws, nothing's entered the public domain for years. In fact, no published work will enter the public domain until 2019. Books, <laughs> songs, movies, even scientific articles are stuck in a legal limbo. Until the last 50 years, every generation in American history has had free and legal access to the creativity of the past. They could learn from it. They could build on it. Now all that creativity is locked away. And the true irony is that no one understood that better than Walt Disney. Dozens of Disney characters were taken directly from the public domain. Even the breakthrough Mickey cartoon, Steamboat Willie, is based on a Buster Keaton movie from 1928. Holy crap, that's hypocritical. Hypo 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 that's hypocritical.